Hiya, so this is the first vid for the second lesson of vectors. Um, it talks about unit vectors. So we've got i, which is a unit vector of the x-axis. So what does that mean? It's just like a coordinate. It's just one across, that's all. So unit is one. So you're just thinking of it like a coordinate. And then you've got j, and that's a unit vector in the y-axis. So that's just like one up. There, i and j. There. That's all it is, just x and y. Don't get bogged down with it. Um, we're not going to bold. You can't bold, can you, on your test paper? We're with no eyes in. Right, so let's have a look at this vector. So vectors are anything in free space. So this vector goes four across and two up. So I've got two ways of doing it. I can either show it as a column vector, not underline it. So the top number is across, the bottom number is up and down, just like the transformations. Or I can see it as four i, so four across, and two j, two up. There. It's that simple. So if I had something which was, so here's my vector, uh, let's let it go in that way, call it vector b. It was two across and five down, then b, I can either have it as a vector, two minus five, which is what I prefer to be there. Or in component form, which is two i minus five j. That, that's it, that is really it. Um, so it says most exam questions do it in the i and the j notation. Oh, it's easier, easier to do calculations in the column vector form. Yep. And then just put it back as an answer. That's quite true. Right. So there's some for you there. So you sort of write them down uh, in i and j and vector form. So pause it. Check your answer on this. Check the direction. Make sure that you get the direction right when you're doing it. So here's your answers. Right, so look at the next page. Maybe page two, anything. There. Okay. So we're adding the vectors together. So I've got one vector, which is three across two up, that's A, and another vector, which is two left one up, which is B. There. So find A plus B. So A plus B will be three, two, plus minus 2, 1. And all I do is add the i components. So 3 add minus 2 is 1. And then add the j components. 2 plus 1 is 3. There. So 3, 1. Uh, so you could write that if you want as one lot of i and 3j. Now, it says draw them, draw A and B, and hence you've got A and B. So what I do with this, I'll start off with A. I can start anywhere, but I'm going to start in the bottom corner because I know it works. So three across, two up, gives me a line for A that goes like that. And now what I'm going to do, I go to the end of the first vector and I add on the second vector. So it says vector, no, so vector on the to tail. So we go one after another. So B is two left and one up. So two left and one up puts it there. So that's a B. Now A to B, or A plus B, sorry, is the shortcut. So A plus B is the start of A to the end of B. There. So that's A plus B. So A plus B goes from the start of A to the end of B. Yeah. So I've done A plus B, I've drawn it, now it says find B plus A. Okay. So B plus A will be minus 2, 1 plus 3, 2. So that's going to be 1, 3. So if you notice, that, that's the same, isn't it? They're the same. 
So A plus B is the same as B plus A. Right, so look at subtracting that. So same idea, I'm going to do A minus B. Right then. B is 2 left and 1 up. Minus B is the opposite direction. I've changed the signs, so it's 2 minus 1. So I think of it as plus or minus B if I'm doing that when I draw it. So A minus B, so A is 3, 2, minus B, which is minus 2, 1. So along the top is 3 minus or minus 2, which is 5, and 2 minus 1, which is 1. So now I want to draw them. So I'm going to slightly uh, change where I'm drawing. So A is 3 across 2 up. So A goes to there. Now I'm going to draw minus B. So minus B goes 2 right and 1 down. So 2 right and 1 down takes it there. So that's minus B. Plus B would have gone that way. But we're not interested in plus B. And then, so A minus B is the start of the first one to the end of the last one. So it's there. That's A minus B. Okay, so then that. So B minus A. So B minus A will be minus 2, 1, minus 3, 2, which is minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. And if you look, there is a link, isn't it? It's a minus lots of it. So, A minus B is the same as minus B minus A. Yeah. You can, because we've, oh, have we done, I don't think we've done multiplying with that. Yeah, we have. We've done the first lesson. So it's like minus 1. So that there is like minus 1. Lots of 5, 1 there. So hence the minus at the front. Um, right, we'll stop there. That's quite a lot.